What is going on everyone? Welcome to Classy Tacos. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're getting into putting uh, some new bands on our CV boots and uh, kind of try to slide the CV boot down. Once you're lifted with IFS, there's going to be a point where, you know, those CVs are going to start to flex just way too much. What happens is the upper boot starts to rub on itself um, and that will create like a line in the boot. Eventually it'll rub through and it'll just be a mess everywhere. I'll show put a picture of one up that's a mess here. I found the photo online, but that's pretty much what it looks like with one of these busts. So what we're gonna do today is remove the clamp that's there, um, kind of push the boot down a little and then reclamp it so that it's uh, kind of away from itself and it won't rub on itself anymore. What I'm gonna use today are just these bands right here um, and this tool. Uh, this was a pretty cheap kit. I think it was like 22 bucks and you get like a bunch of bands and you get the tool. Uh, it's nothing fantastic. Not as good, I don't think, as the one where you, because there's another style where you kind of tuck in and you twist, um, but it's a little hard to get into there sometimes with that one, so that's why we're going to give this one a shot. If this one doesn't work out, we'll go that route, we'll get the more expensive one, but we'll give this one for a little while, and you got a lot of extras in the kit that you could take with you on the trails in case you, you know, you bust one on the trails, you can uh, easily get this done. Um, what I was going to say, there's a lot of options. You could start with like a zip tie, you could go to like a regular band clamp that you tighten, um, but, you know, that one's a weighted differently, so you got to watch out for that. Or you can just go all out and buy, like, the HD um, axles that have silicone boots. And they're kind of, like, extended silicone boots. The ribs are further apart, so they don't rub into each other. But those are real pricey. Um, that might be something, you know, well on down the road, so we'll see. So let me show you uh, just under the truck. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And you can see the band where it's going to almost tear soon. So that's why I want to get this done. Let me get you down there. All right, so right here, this is my passenger side, right? I hear you could actually see this pretty good. If you look right in here, you see that band in there where it looks like it's indented right in there? It's not supposed to be there like that. You see how none of these have any of those indentations, right? You see how this one doesn't and, and this one doesn't? That indentation right there is coming from right here. These this rib is rubbing up on this rib right here, right? After driving so much, it gets really hot and it starts to kind of heat this up and make that line. Eventually, it'll bust through there and then it, there your boot's gone, right? Once your boot's gone, this is going to be a mess. So what we're going to do is pop this off, right? Bring this, slide this down this way a little bit and then reclamp down here and that way it'll get it so that it's spaced. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy. It's just enough so that these are not touching. And then we'll monitor um, just to make sure it stays there. So if you look, so my, my boot angle is for being where I'm at, you know, the angle is not terrible. Um, it's not great, but it's not terrible. Um, this one, right? Uh, the, the tire on the tire side, they do rub against each other here, but uh, but this is a different material. So it's almost like this material is much stronger and there is no No indentation here anywhere. So I'm not gonna change that one if you wanted to you could again bust it You'd be popping this one and just moving it up, but this one is pretty good I want to take care of this one though today for sure because I'm, I'm, I'm nervous that's gonna get through real quick all right, so here we are. This is the passenger side um, CV axle. There's the boot. This is where it's rubbing together. Um, and you can tell if you look, if you flip this back, see how it's real shiny there? It's just rubbing up on this one. It's not good. So mine is actually kind of loose, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, look, mine just popped right off. Interesting. All right, so let's get this out of the way. So I, it's almost like this is just a different quality than, than the one, but you can see where they kind of work almost the same way. So then I have a zip tie here. That's interesting. Let's get that popped off. i uh, be honest. I don't know if that was me or somebody before me. I don't remember. Let's, uh, let's pop this off. Perfect. Now, these are on here um, pretty good. So it's not just, you're not just going to be able to like grab them and slide them down because there is like a rib there that it's on. But what we're going to try to do is kind of twist and get past that rib all right so now i got the light right you will kind of create um some suction because it is but you don't you like you don't need that much right you just need it to like like all right i'm good like about right there i feel like it's not hitting anything else this doesn't look bad you can kind of keep you see how it'll want it'll want to suck back so 
you're only going to be able to kind of really get so far. But that right there is enough that these two are no longer touching. And then this one is good. That's not going to rub anymore. So if you kind of hold it right here, we get our clamp. The goal of this to you, you kind of want to get it kind of as much as you can, right? So you're you're kind of getting the slack out of this right now. So we're going to lock that in. I want to keep it pointing down so I can kind of reach it, right? I'm going to kind of pull this down where I like it. Let's get it. All right, so that is sitting in there. Nice. I got my teeth lined up, right? I'm going to pull this down a little. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the boot right here, right? So I'm holding the boot right here so that these two aren't touching. Then I'm going to take my tool, open it up. And what the tool does is it basically crimps um, this piece. So what it does is it tightens it, right? So I'm just going to crimp this nice and tight and just like that. We're in, but I lost two teeth back here. Like two of them didn't sit. So, but it looks like it'll hold it. So I like that. Let's try to do this again. Um, but there you go. You can see where it's not rubbing now. And that's gonna, I mean, it's good. I just don't know that's going to last with only one tooth hanging there. So let's, uh, pop it off and we'll, uh, we'll try another one. So good thing they send us so many. Right, right here perfect so now i can see where this one's nice and tight all my teeth are in and it's not touching right so what we could do is come back and monitor this like a week or two um and that way i'll know if it kind of slid up or not um just for security what we could do is uh throw another one on now that that one's nice and tight it's a little easier to Put another one on if you want to. And this is more for just safety. I got it pretty much as tight as I could get it right there. And then get this set up. Perfect. Now that is nice and tight and that shouldn't be going anywhere. And just like that, we've now effectively fixed the issue with this rubbing up against itself. I'm um, gonna give it a lot more light. So at this point, this side is good. I'm gonna go do the other side. So here on the driver's side, you can see where now it's crimped um, and they're separated right here before they were up against each other. And even still here, you can see it on the driver's side too, where it was trying to kind of dig into that one. So I'll put the pictures together so you can see the difference. You guys need anything, let me know. Other than that, you guys stay safe out there.